screaming beer up Two strokes of life at the heart of a lion I just wanna make love to the track The dirt looks like brown sugar And this might be my last ride I got a pin and throw one footers No podium when I'm done And I can't forget where I'm from I'ma ride for the love, for the fun Moto life, we are one Riding down a dirt road I got to make a brake hub that will fit in here and hold all my braking components and that way this back brake will be functional and I can bolt this to a swing arm. You saw me already press that bushing into it to cover up the gears because this was like some kind of gear drive off the old motor and the old motor was part of the swing arm. Uh, all it is is this. The other stuff on there is just for what I'm working with right now. As you can see, I've been grinding on it. I have to grind this small enough so my brake shoes will go on. You can see it's too big right now. The springs are hitting that circle piece right there. So. I've been grinding it. I got this attached to this, so I can put it in the drill and just put my grinder on it and just grind enough in. But now I'm getting to the part where it's and it's at the weld. And if I keep grinding, it's gonna grind my welds off, and this is gonna go flying off. So. I'm gonna have to weld the bottom all the way on. That way I can continue grinding on this and not worry about it coming out. Cause I do not want to get hit in the face with this. So guys, this is my hot dog. Uh, I
Alright guys, pretty close to having to weld it again. There's the little spots where you can see it's showing the cracks through right there. And then I can see some at the bottom. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to take my sanding wheel and go across it and see if I can clean it up just a little hair bit before I have to weld it. So. I'm just going to take this sanding disc right here, flat disc, try to get it a little bit cleaned up because that grinding wheel is rough. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> Let me show you guys something. I've seen that. That was a bad call on my part. I'm going to have to sit that down. Woo, it's hot. 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 You see it cracked right open. Your crack is whack. So I'm going to have to take it off and set it down. Clamp it together and uh, weld that back on. So, me get all this taken apart, and I'll meet you all over here at the welding table. All right, so I got it grounded down where I can put my brake hub on it. Now I gotta drill my holes for my pin and my little doodad that's where the brakes apart. And we gotta press this socket back out of it. And then we'll get it ready to go on the wheel. I have the old brake pins and the little doodad that makes the drum brake go up. I'm pulling all those out of a old Yamaha blaster. And then we'll just drill that piece of metal out, put these in where they need to go. I'm um, take measurements off the motor and we'll drill these in where they need to go. That way our brake hub will be functional. And then the next after we get the brake mounted up, we're gonna have to make a swing arm. So I got the holes drilled and uh, my little brake parts in. Drilled a 2964 hole. Put that little spreader part in there. And uh, a 3 8 hole and I'm just sticking a bolt in there because I can't pull the pin out of the other one. But a bolt will suffice. I know what you're saying. You're so smart. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna have to tack that in there so it doesn't fall out. But uh, before I weld it all the way, I'm gonna make sure it will work that way. Just fit that into the wheel, make sure it all spins. No, it don't look very center to me. I can't tell. See how the space is at the bottom is way. You got too much space in it. And up here by the one, just a tiny bit of space. What about that? I'm about to put another hole up this way just a little bit probably do kind of like a slotted deal that way I can adjust it 
and then I'll weld it shut. Alright, I got this cut a little slot of hole there. Move the brake. Move that pin up. That way it's more centered. And now fix. Tight, but it spins as I ride it. It looks like a little bit. Tight. It works really good now. I'm gonna need to weld that all the way in. Find me a washer to put on that so my bolt don't go all the way through the hole. Stay tuned. We're working on the swing arm. This was the original mount for the Honda SE50 motor. It had a little stopper on it. This little rubber stopper that went into the rotor frame. And it set like that. That way it would keep this from moving. But it had just enough flex there, you know, for the motor to move if it needed to. It wasn't designed to go like this. So I cut this off. Now this will pivot up down wherever I need it to and then we're going to build off of this and make our entire swing on Although I'm going to have to create more of it because this is not long enough obviously. That's what she said! <laughs> but I figured this would be a good starting point. It's already got my bushings in here so I don't have to make nothing. It's got a mount for it. The only problem that I'm really going to have is uh, just going to be a pain in the butt. That motor, that CT70 motor, although this space is big, it doesn't want to sit in here unless I prop it up. And I don't want to do it like that. I want to flap. That way I can use the four bolts on the bottom that usually hold the pegs. I can use them as mounts for it, and I ain't gonna sign no hanky mounts. And I can use, you know, this frame as a skip plate, so I figured that would be a lot better set up anyway. I'm gonna need like three, uh, three and a half inches, yeah, but I can take it out of this frame. I'm just gonna have to cut into this frame. Cut in somewhere down here and flatten it out. That way, they're just making a room where I can sit the motor into it. And then I can actually use a mount back here for a bolt to go through. I also have to chop this tube off. Uh, I have it marked about where I need it. I think I figured up it's going to go down a quarter of an inch. So I got these little grove forks that I ordered. I got the scooter wheel mounted up to them and sitting in the frame. And the steering tube is too long. So I got my bearing puller right here attached to this little it's a bearing race. I'm going to see if I can pull that out with my little bearing puller arm right here. I'm going to try to pull it out. Hopefully it'll slide right out. That way I can cut the steering tube off and then put that back in. And then we can attach those forks to it. So now that I got y'all out of the darkness over there, let me show you a little bit what I pulled out. It's just the piece that sits in the steering arm and holds your steering tube bearings. That's the first time I've actually used that bearing pull. So I'm gonna have to cut these little mountain tabs.
Alright guys, in this video we got our pit bike forks mounted in, they're nice and sturdy. We got our brake hub made for our back tire, we still have to make the swing arm, we ain't done that yet, but we'll get to that next video. I figured this was kind of probably long enough, we got the frame tube cut so we can put these on, get another pipe and weld it in here, and we'll cut that little notch up so we can put the motor in and then we need to go ahead and make our swing arm so hopefully we can get all that done in the next video I got my handlebar parts coming in that way we can mount those handlebars I got make sure you like comment subscribe go ahead I'm waiting on you click the like button down below come on the subscribe button it only takes like two seconds what's wrong do it Hurry Just up. do it! Come on! Do it! Just do it! But hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Peace. Ding. Ding. Go.